Hey everyone, it's Wows. We're here with a Hearthstone video today. We're taking a look at one of the top decks uh, for Hunter right now. This is the 81% win rate aggro mech Hunter. Um, it was created uh, a couple days ago and it was last updated um, just recently. So we'll take a look at it. It looks like it plays like a pretty standard um, aggro sort of mech Hunter deck. Um, a few different cards than some of the other mech hunters that we played recently so i figured i'd give it a shot and see how it goes usually the way that i play this is i'll play three times see how it does um post the results and you can take a look um i always start off by telling folks i'm not a legend player or close to legend i typically uh, am around the 20 to 15 uh rank so if that's the sort of content you're looking for um if that's the sort of rank you are you'll probably see these types of decks if you're a higher ranked player you may be better off checking out one of the other videos um in terms of that so we'll start off here um and he obviously gets a pretty quick start here uh with his elemental um and so, yeah, we'll see what we can get going. Not particularly great draw to start. I don't want to waste these guys, because they're really not going to be any help to drop without um, a death rattle minion down. Um, same with Direwolf. He doesn't do me any good. But next turn, I'm going to explode Nader down. And I hope that he actually trades into my Explodinator, I think. I think that would be the best play for us. Uh, let's silly axe into one of these. Galvanizer will be a nice combo with a lot of these guys. Um, and pretty obviously, he goes to take out the Zilliax. I could trade there for him. So I think we drop down this guy to get everything uh, down a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to use my Dire Wolf and this. And now we have a pretty decent board to play with. Hmm. I wonder how much board clear this uh, this mage plays right now. You don't see a ton of flame strikes. You see more of the different spells that folks use to um to eliminate individual heroes uh, i think i want to do this and then this and then we're pretty close to killing him I'm feeling pretty good about this. I mean, we can obviously missile launcher into one of our other max here. Um, you know, I think he's probably going to look to, yeah, in some way disable this guy. Or maybe not. Well, you know, unless these, I mean, even the secrets, if one of them's ice barrier, we still should be able to lethal. Yeah, we still have it. So not too bad. You see, you know, it's just kind of getting that combination of, um, you know, and, and he talks about this, and I'll post a link to the description and to the deck below on Hearthpone. Um, but he talks a little bit about you have to find that combination between uh, whenever you're playing a mech deck between having enough minions down and also combining the right minions because you don't want to combine um, in that in that uh, match you saw you know if, if this game was going to continue if he found a way to eliminate my bomb um, 
you know, or my bomb is down to like one health. You don't want to keep adding to the same one character in general unless you're comboing it um, in a way that's going to be super beneficial. But if you know you're playing against a deck with any sort of silence or any sort of you know, I, I ran up against uh, a, a mage deck playing Polymorph, or you know, or a lot of the mage decks right now are playing different cards that um, will give you the opportunity, uh, give them the opportunity to get kind of random spells um, or to discover a spell. Uh, so the Polymorph is going to be problematic um, from a mage deck at that point. Um, and then you know, a lot of the different classes right now have some good direct damage as well, where you can't just you know, just keep powering up the same mech over and over again and not expect that they're going to, you know, be able to target it. We just lucked out where he didn't have enough removal, it looked like. And I'll take that. That's not too bad. We can obviously, you know, it certainly is an option to go down and drop the 2-2 two -two um, on top of him. But the reason that I go... Uh, with the world riders, you just end up with more minions, um, and you have more opportunities to combo later on. I don't need to use the poisonous right this second. Um, we're gonna do this to just try to do some more bomb damage, and then we're gonna throw down our tracking and see what we can grab. Oh, tough choice, uh, but I think I'm gonna go with Ziliax. He's too powerful right now. Missile Launcher is a, is a good choice as well, depending on the deck you're playing against, but um, against a mage, I think I'd rather have the Ziliax. Not much choice here, right? <laughs> And we're just going to keep up the face pressure and try to go as aggro as possible. I think that's the best way to play this type of deck is force them to be the one to trade in general. Um, if you can make a trade, you know, if you can knock out an enemy hero, um, you know, and, and not lose your hero or lose your character, that's fine, um, or your minion. But um, in general, um, you're better off just going face almost every time. Huh. Um, it's too soon, I think, for the Leroy. I think I'm just going to drop down one of these guys. And if he's not able to take it, then you, you open up the opportunity either. You can know, combo into a Ziliax or, um, you know, uh, you can drop your Leroy on top. But I'd rather have him sort of use some of his um, damage on a 5-5. Five -five that I don't really need because I have another one in my hand. So um, just kind of absorbing some of his, his spell damage. When I'm playing Hunter, I always like to think about how many turns away you are in terms of lethals. Um, and you see the polymorph there, and that's a part of the reason you don't want to combo too many of these robots or uh, the mechs on top of one another. Um, but I always think about how many turns are you away from lethaling with just um, you know, just your steady shot, your hero power. Because right now, um, you know, you're know you essentially four and a half turns away because um, you're doing two damage each turn with this. Um, so anything that you do on top of that brings you like one turn closer um, and you know I'm going to assume that he doesn't have too much life steal. This is not the um, That's actually see now that's actually good for us. I think because it puts us in Leroy range um, so actually fine um, So but yeah, I always think about how many turns away are you from killing them with the hunter uh, hero power but when you got cards like Leroy in your deck, you don't have to worry too much about it. So 2-0 in our first two matches, great start. Um, and then let's take a look at one more chime. We've played against two mages. The mage decks are obviously pretty popular right now. Seeing a lot of Hunter um, right now. Um, a little bit of Warlock. Um, but I think in occasionally, very occasionally, some of the Warrior, like Bomb Warrior, 
um, and Rogue. But um, I don't see too much Shaman right now, so this will be interesting. a more interesting matchup, I think. I'm also not sure about um, uh, Master Flark. I saw in the comment section there was a lot of discussion over whether or not to keep him in the deck. I think he can be good um, kind of late game, but I liked playing this deck with uh, Void Ripper, where you could flip the attack and the health so that you could set off all four bombs at once. I don't know that it's um, super helpful um, in this deck in terms of late game. I think there may be a better choice there. Um, but I'm willing to give it a go with, with how the um, creator of the deck put it together. And a, a lot of good value there from from our little friend. Um, especially where you see, you know, this deck obviously has a handful of, of um, a beasts and some other stuff like Leroy that aren't max, but you're dealing mostly with, with max in this deck. And next turn it'll be nice if I well, okay yeah. So he's gonna he's gonna lightning storm, but if you can combo these two, the spider bomb and the fire attack, they're a real nice combo. Um, and now I'll just be like one turn further away from that combo, but um, it's still not a huge deal. And in fact, I probably am gonna be able to do it. Um, in fact, I think it's a better combo to do this, right? So you do this, you drop the coin, and then you do this, because then you get both the draw and the three extra minions. Now you, he's got a 7-5 that he has to deal with. Now, with Shaman, you're going to deal with Hex more often, so I wouldn't be surprised to see a Hex get dropped on him. Um, but you've already essentially got the, the benefits of his his death rattle. If he doesn't have a hex, um, you know, he's got to either do some sort of wave clear um, or maybe drop down a, a taunt. Um, but there's not a whole lot. Um, yeah, I mean, that's okay, right? Yeah, and there's the hex. And that's really what the shaman has to rely on is that wave clear, right? It's the only way that that deck is gonna be able to um, compete with this with this type of deck. Okay, so I'm gonna drop the five five here, and then this guy. Now he might be able to go through with the um, wild pyromancer, um, the Mekaru, um, and that's okay. Um, in fact, um, I'm I'm okay with that. I'm just trying to kind of get to the next turn right now and hope that he doesn't drop too many spells or whatnot. And so now we have an opportunity to unleash the hounds on him um, and combo that with maybe another card. Uh, so I think what we'll do... Okay, we're going to unleash the hounds. Well, we've got a lot up. And we can take out both of these. And then I'm going to combo this here. Because again, you're just getting a little bit closer. Only four turns away um, if he doesn't have a heal. Now Shaman obviously has a couple of, of big heals that they can potentially drop. Um, and so I wouldn't be surprised to see that. But we know now that right, he's used both hexes, so we're pretty safe in terms of that. Um, but we... You know, you have you need four turns with a steady shot, and obviously he gets this, which is not uh, what I was hoping for. Um, but we can basically do this now. So we do this, and then I'm gonna Leroy now, even though it's not gonna be uh, lethal, because now he's stuck in a position of he can not kill the bomb. He can kill the bomb, take the two damage. He can not kill the bomb, and I'll combo into it next turn. Um, you know, the Zilliax will be a little bit helpful for him. He'll get back three health there um, if he attacks it. And he's going to be at three, right? And now it's just a matter of what do we draw. Not, not super helpful. Not super helpful at all. But I'm going to drop down our Spider Bomb, see what he can do. We'll do the, the two damage, keep him down to one health. 
um, because you know that Ziliax is going to, you know, get back three health for him this turn. So it's just a matter of what else can we do. And really, you know, we're just hoping for some RNG help here with, with Spider Bomb if he chooses to trade into him. Not the trade I was hoping for. Not a lucky day for us. And we're going to use this tracking to see what we can do here. <laughs> not an awful lot. Again, not a particularly helpful card draw here. And I think we're, we're in trouble at this point. He got some good trades off us. Uh, kind of unlucky, you know, I would have hoped for a Ziliax, a Missile Launcher, or a Boom Master potentially. Um, but not a lot you can do when you draw one, two, three um, with your, your tracking. And um, Spider Bomb, again, not, not super helpful. Not going to really get us anywhere. So yeah, I think um, a little bit of a tough matchup against the Shaman deck. Um, it's tough. It's tough once they get down uh, a lot of enemy heroes because you really can't take out a lot in, in terms of that. So, all right, we'll drop down this friend and then this friend and then this friend. And see what we can do with that. Isn't poisonous great? <laughs> I wonder if he has any sort of uh, other removal in his deck. Take your time. Hey, another win for us. Go team. So, all in all, pretty good deck. We lucked out there at the end. We finally drew the missile launcher and was able to combo with the poisonous. Um, we're able to level up here, get some gold, all those good good, good things. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this content. If you do like seeing Hearthstone deck reviews, uh, definitely subscribe to the channel. If there's a deck you'd like to see me review, definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks so much for watching.